What's up everybody, IFBB Pro Nathan Epler. I'm a 212 IFBB Pro bodybuilder. I turned pro um, at the USA Championships. I won the heavyweight class in 2019. Um, obviously 2020 didn't get to compete with uh, COVID and everything that happened. So we are now um, four and a half weeks out from my pro debut. It'll be in my hometown, uh, the Indy Pro. So yeah, we're just, we're getting ready for the show right now. Your pro right. Who what was right. 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 Yeah, we were just. Uh, I was just newly, newly pro the last time that we shot together. It was uh, six weeks post show. So now we're uh, on the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> you well, I mean, it, it was definitely a difficult time. Um, I just tried to stay focused around what I could and could not do. So, you know, luckily I had a small private gym that I was able to still train at and I was able to still perform at a high level. Um, but I know a lot of pros, a lot of just um, people in general, they, you know, gyms were shut down and everybody kind of had to make do with what they had. And uh, I was very fortunate to still have a facility to, uh, to work out of and um, to try to keep progressing forward. So, I mean, we had started prep last year and I had prepped for about six months and um, the shows kept getting canceled or pushed back. And after I'd been prepping for about six and a half months, we had decided to shut it down just to, I, I'm young, I'm, I was 26 at the time, I'm just turned 27 now. So um, I gotta think longevity in the sport. This sport is a, a marathon, not a sprint. So we decided last year to shut it down and then just uh, start aiming towards this year. So, especially being lean when you're when you're near stage lean for multiple months at a time, and a lot of the uncertainty. That was a big thing too. Is just mentally, um, it was very mentally taxing to be stage lean with no real known show dates um, and try to keep progressing forward without you know slipping on the diet or missing cardio or um, it was very um, mentally trying but I think it it ultimately made me a stronger bodybuilder you know just being able to push through a time like that and um, running my own businesses and and being able to stay afloat was uh, very mentally rewarding in that regard yeah yeah I know Right. Yeah. So we decided to do. Um, we decided to train back today. Uh, last time we filmed, we did chess. So I wanted to make sure we got some new content out. Um, and this is a pretty nice gym for back training. So started the workout. Um, I always usually start with uh, pull-ups or assisted pull-ups, and uh, especially now that I'm a lot leaner and my body weight's down, I can <laughs> I can do pull-ups <laughs> more easily. So. Started with uh, three or four sets of uh, pull-ups. Then we moved into a T-bar row. Um, some of the gyms that I go to do not have a good quality uh, T-bar row. So we built up, typically my workouts right now, um, I'm doing one to two uh, build up or feel sets as I acclimate to the new weight. And then we'll just do two sets, typically all out um, to fail anywhere from that 10 to 15 rep range. So went into that was kind of the style of the workout today we went into a t-bar row did t-bar row built up to four plates um, for one heavy set and then did a um, triple drop set on the second then we went into the uh, hammer strength iso row a single arm iso row machine it's one of my favorite back machines for lower lat development so we uh, again, a couple feeler sets and then built into uh, two really, really heavy all-out sets. Then we went into um, then we went into a lat pull-down, but it was with a, a bar that's, um, some people call it a bullhorn, the bullhorn handles or the bullhorn bar. It's actually one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite close grip handles for lat pull-downs. It really, really targets the lower and mid back and allows you to drive the elbows down towards the floor so definitely had to hit that when i saw that that attachment here so we went into the bullhorn bar um, for pull downs and then we did um what i call a shrug row so it's a it's a shrug variation but you're actually bending the elbows and you're rowing as well behind the back so that's really good for the upper back um, rhomboid mid trap development and that's kind of a 
did all that for back. Back was pretty much shot, and then we uh, went into some biceps after that. Okay. Um, biceps, we did. Uh, biceps today, I just did two exercises. So for biceps, I did um, just a standing, um, a standing easy bar curl on the cables. I actually don't typically do a lot of feeler sets when I do biceps. So uh, I just pretty much went into, I did like one build up set and weight, and then I did three heavy sets, um, pretty much all out 15 to 20 on the biceps. And then we went into um, a seated hammer curl, dumbbell hammer curl. I've really been liking that variation to build on the, the brachioradialis and the brachialis, try to thicken up the arms a little bit. It's one area that I've been trying to uh, really bring up. So I feel, um, it targets it very well, and uh, I feel a good connection on it. So, knocked out three sets there, and then I was toast. What's uh, your cardio right now, like, for, like going to the diet? Like, the diet, um, we dieted pretty hard right out of the gate, and then um, got lean very, very fast. So, luckily now, we're able to feed in a little bit more, and I'm actually very close to the weight already, the 212 weight class, thankfully. Um, in the off season, I got up to about 245, so I got pretty heavy. That was the heaviest I've ever gotten, but um, the weight came off relatively easy, and we pushed my coach Matt Kuba and I. Uh, he pushed me really hard right off the right off the bat. So um, we were doing typically 30 minutes treadmill, just incline walking, and then he put me actually up to 40 and 50 minutes, and then he moved me to stepper. I haven't done the stairmaster in about three years, so. That was a little bit of a shell shock, but um, really got me lean very, very fast. Um, we were doing intervals on that, and then now we're just backing off. Uh, again, we're feeding in a little bit, and um, the cardio is just at about 40 minutes, uh, incline walking again. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm generally, um, I was always a smaller guy growing up. So, um, and I've always done really well with carbohydrates, so I can typically eat in the off season anywhere from 700 to eight or 900 grams of carbohydrates and not get too out of shape. And um, similarly right now, I mean, we did have the carbs pretty low for a little while, but now I've got carbohydrates in almost every single meal. And um, yeah, we're, we're able to, like I said, feed in a little bit more. My metabolism is sky high right now. I can, I could probably eat every hour. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so hungry, but. For you competitors out there, you you guys definitely understand how it is when you're getting into the last, you know, six or eight weeks leading into a show. Your your hunger is is uh, pretty high. So. It looks like it's definitely how much you get. Yes, but I know it's hard because it definitely looks like you put on some size. Like how much like lean mass would you think you put on? Like a real lot. I I've put on. I would venture to say anywhere from about four to six or seven pounds of tissue um, and I'm definitely my skin is a lot thinner even than just two years ago especially with dieting down last year even though I didn't do any shows I you know every time you diet down you're able to get a little bit leaner a little bit leaner the skin gets thinner you get a little bit harder and more dense and grainy so I definitely think my muscle maturity has improved um, as well as yeah I probably added about four to six pounds of, of actual tissue since um, I won my my pro card at USA's yeah yeah. Uh, people and, um, sponsors, you like to thank, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Definitely want to thank my uh, sponsor, Blackstone Labs. They picked me up um, actually after I won Junior Nationals. So I've been with them for almost two years now. Um, they've been absolutely wonderful to me, and um, they're really, really helping me, especially now going into my pro debut. And then I will also be doing the uh, New York Pro, which is taking place down in Tampa, um, and that is one week after the Indy Pro. So they're helping me a lot with with everything to get down there and uh, just taking care of me with supplement wise. And so definitely want a big shout out to Blackstone Labs. Um, shout out to Suits by Amy, my suit sponsor. She's been sponsoring me for a couple years as well. She does a wonderful job with my suits. Um, yeah, I'm really, really thankful for, for all of them. I actually am sponsored now as well by a company called Fueled Performance. And they make a, uh, it's called a Bolt Massage Gun. It's one of those massage guns. And um, I just recently started with them. Um, I know the owner, he's actually a client of mine. So uh, Scott, thank you, I appreciate you. You know, just uh, thanks for everything. And um, lastly, gotta thank my wife, my partner in crime, my rock. She's been there for me since, I mean, we've been together for almost 11 years now. 
and married for three, so I, I could not do any of this without her and uh, my family, and then of course my coach, Coach uh, Matt Kuba. You know, couldn't do it without you, man. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.